Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program and this is just my profile on how to launch and get to orbit. Uh, the first thing you need is a, a rocket that has enough Delta V to get to orbit. Uh, if you don't you're just going suborbital and you'll come right back in. So we know that we need at least 4,550 Delta V to get into space, uh, to get into orbit. Um, it's a given number that's what it takes. I have in this rocket 4,975, but things are going to change as we start dropping parts off. Uh, you'll get better delta V when you start dropping parts off. So this is a mod that I have and you can look at um, the in atmosphere or not in atmosphere. So these numbers kind of coincide with these numbers here. It's not exact. This is um, Kerbal's uh, numbers, and this is um, Kerbin Engineer, Kerbal Engineer Redux. So you can still use these. We have enough. We need 4,550 to get into space. Now, I, I only put half fuel in this one. We can go all the way if we want to. Uh, what that will do is it will change our thrust to weight ratio. Let's go all the way with this one, and you can see thrust to weight ratios are changing. We're 1.54. You just have to be greater than 1.54. 25 or something. 1.54 is a good number. 1.25 is a good number. This isn't a good number because that's the top of our rocket, but it is going to be in space. It is not going to be in the atmosphere. So when you change that, you change the numbers again, and you end up with 1,651 delta V in the top portion of this rocket once we uh, separate it. So I just have one separator on here, right here. This will separate. This rocket should get us to space, but I am going to turn down that just a bit. And we'll launch it uh, 4,000, almost 5,000 meters per second. We know we can get to orbit. Now the profile is what we want to work on. What do you do? Do you go straight up till you get out of the atmosphere and then turn east and burn full blast? You can't. You can go up to 70,000 meters and then rotate to the right and blast away quick as you can because you're going to start falling again. So what you want to do is halfway up, well, at some point in your launch profile, you want to tilt to the east. So we're going to turn that on. We're going to go full power. Now, I was kind of instructed to be careful here, and I will talk you through it as I go up. This rocket right here, the, these will last about 42 seconds. That's all that they will burn. 42 seconds. Burn time, 42 seconds. So, in 42 seconds on the clock, we're going to be jettisoning these. So we want to be downrange. We don't want them to fall back onto, the, uh, onto here. So, uh, let's get going. Three. To, uh, what I usually do is 100 meters. This is just my profile at 100 meters per second. I tilt over. It does depend if you're going fast or slow, but 100 meters per second, I roll over to, uh, I think it's 15 degrees or something right here. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We're going to watch this number. This is a quick rocket. Uh, its thrust to weight ratio is 1.6, and it's gaining 1.7. So at some point we want to slow down. Okay, we're at 90 meters per second. Here we go at 100. I'm going to roll over and that uh, reticle is going to follow us down. Another thing to watch out for is this atmosphere. These uh, light blue, dark blue, really dark blue, those are changes in the atmosphere and they can get a little rough. So we're going 300 meters per second. I'm going to back down on the throttle a little bit. <coughs> I don't want to be going 900 meters per second inside. Okay, there we go. I'm going to lose those. Uh, I'm going to flip. I wasn't paying attention. And this gimbal needs to be set up a little while stronger. That can happen if you don't have um, maybe fins. Fins will help. But watch your speed here. See, I'm, I'm gaining speed really quick now. I don't want to gain that much until I get really out of here. Uh, 
I've wasted a little bit of fuel here doing this, but it's still good. We're going a little fast. I'm going to slow down just a bit. 600 meters per second. We caught some more air. Okay, this is a bad launch. Let's go ahead and revert flight to the launch. I wasn't paying attention, but that can happen. <clears throat> Slap a couple of fins on there. You throw a dart through the air. It will stay stable, but you throw a dart without fins on it, and it won't. It'll just tip over, tip over, tip over. Uh, I was probably going too fast too. So let's try this again. Three, two, one. Hundred meters per second. We're going to tilt to the right. We're at 90 meters per second. Here we go. About 10 or 15 degrees. You can go slow. Slow down just a bit. We don't want to go too fast through this lower atmosphere. Because you're just pushing against the wind. Just ain't helping. Getting things hot. We're at 300 meters per second. Okay, drop those off. Our vehicle just got a little lighter. We gained a little bit of thrust to weight ratio. So we're going to try to maintain that. You can lock that on there. I don't normally. Okay, we're into the light blue area here. Just continue to tip, tilt, tilt, tilt. You can see my yaw each time I do it. You can stay in the front of this. You can stay in the back of it. Just somewhere in the middle. We're at 17,000. We're going to 28. That's okay. I'm staying near the back of it now just to gain a little bit more altitude. A little more altitude quicker. We're at the 45 degree mark right here. We're at 25,000 meters. We're at 40,000 meters, uh, hopefully. This is your apoapsis. We want that to be, I don't know, 80, 75, something like that. We're pretty stable right here. We're going 700 meters per second. We can back it down a little bit. We don't have to go that fast. Going to 51, still climbing. We're at 36. Now, I like to judge 44,000 meters here, 44,000 meters, as a good, um, we're going 1,000 meters per second now. Once you're at 44, you're out of the thickest stuff. Go ahead and lay on it. Get it, crank it over. We're at 70. We are in space. Well, sorry, we are heading to space. But there's not a lot of air up here. We're at 51,000 meters. We're still in atmosphere. Let's go to 80. Pushing this out. I'm at three quarter throttle. Okay, we're at 80,000. We'll be at 80,000, but you can see we're still in the atmosphere. So this is going to start dropping because a little bit of air is pushing on us, but not much. Look how much fuel we have. We have 2,649 delta V in this rocket, but we have to get up to 2,200, 2,217, I forget the number, to be falling and never hit Kerbin. <clears throat> so we are in space right now. We are in space. We're going to be here in 47 seconds, and I like to keep it at about 30, 25 to 30 seconds. So I'm going to tilt down just a bit because I want this reticle to be on the line. Perfect. We're at 33 seconds. I'm going to speed up just a bit, and this will, you can see it's dropping, and I can adjust that by tilting my left or right on the keypad. If I want to push push it out a little bit more, I can do that. Go up higher. If I want to bring it back close to me. It's getting a little close. 10 seconds, that's too close for me. I like to have it at about 25. But you can see we're kind of aiming up. We're aiming up and out. 
and we're blowing this blue line out just a bit. Okay, it's getting a little far, so let's bring her back down by a point to the ground. And we're almost into space, and we have a lot of Delta V left. As soon as that pops out, there we go, we're in space. <clears throat> so that profile, I watched my speed. I didn't, tr I didn't try to get over, you know, 600 meters per second while you're in here. That's just too fast. You can, you can change that by just slowing down a little bit or adjusting your thrust limiter. Um, the first profile I flipped out on, so that was bad. But um, that is how I try to get to space. I watch my speed. I watch where I am here and then the angle and it is you know there's you don't want to be laying down when you're in this blue one because you're just going to be pushing against the air. This lighter air you can be tilting just a little bit more. Then when you're way up here like 44,000 there's hardly any air. Just go ahead and, and flip over. You Then you can start shooting for the sideways. So in the first blue you want to you don't want to be too steep at an angle to the to the east uh, in the middle blue you don't want to be laying down either you don't want to be laying down you can come down a little bit but just don't lay down and watch your speed don't be more than 600 meters per second just keep slowing down your throttle um, <clears throat> And then when you're up to 44,000, roll over and, you know, light the fires. And just watch your apoapsis, and it gets you a perfect orbit. We're in 85 by 80. So, oh, I've got uh, Curb Lab right here at 77. So we could rendezvous if we wanted to. Now, look how much Delta V we have, 1,717. This is a big rocket. <clears throat> we can launch for the moon with this. It takes 850 to get to the moon. So let's put a uh, thing here to get to the moon. We want to go 824. We want to go 850. So 846 and you can see we have the intercept already. So 846 minus 1,017 is going to leave us about 900, or eight, yeah, 900 or something like that, pretty close to 870. I don't know the math, but 870. Once you get here, you only need 350 to get captured. So this rocket, this stage right here, will get us all the way to the moon, slow us down, get captured, and it'll have some left over. Now we can ditch it, we can use it to get into a really tight, close orbit, and then ditch it. We can ditch it on the way there, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but after we break the this off, we're going to have 1,651 meters. That That's enough to get to the uh, surface. You need 600 to get to the surface, so we're going to have 1,000 left, and you'll need uh, well, 600 to get back up and then I forget what you need I don't think this is strong enough to get us back well we could use a lot of this get to get to the ground so we would have a lot left over but this is a pretty good rocket to uh, to go all the way to the moon and back but anyway hope you liked the video leave a like comment subscribe for more and thanks for watching